Hey everyone, it's Jody here, your Wednesday host for FT Realm. I hope everyone's having a good week. Um, school started back up for me, so I've been pretty busy this week with um, preparing lectures for my class on top of um, trying to figure out my own class schedule and what's going on with that. Um, and then, as I said last week, I had to take some pretty big exams that were going to determine if I could work on my thesis so I could get ready to graduate. Unfortunately, I passed one section. I didn't pass another section, so I got to retake that section um, in January sometime. So that kind of sucks. Um, so I'm going to have a lot of freaking busy work to do. But um, other than that, I hope everyone's having a good week. If you started school, welcome back to school. Hopefully nothing's too wild and crazy for you. If you're not in school, I hope that things with work um, are going well. and hope everyone can find some downtime this coming weekend to relax and give yourself a mental break. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this week's topic, which is body modifications. Um, I'm going to pull my septum ring down. So, uh, let's see. I start here. I got my gauges going on. Um, they're at a double zero or a double lot. Um, I really liked the way gauge deers looked, looked when I was um, in college, and so I wanted to stretch my ears once I got out of the Army. So that's what I did. Um, the reason why I kept them at a double zero was, um, one, gauges are fucking expensive, and I had already invested so much money in the gauges I already have at this size that I can't, I couldn't justify to myself, um, on starting all over again, and so I kind of stuck where I was at, and then I felt that if I kept going up, then I was going to have to pay a plastic surgeon to stitch my ears back together, just for job purposes, if I ever got a job. Um, in some business world where, you know, you had to dress really professional. So I said, I'm not even going to worry about that kind of stuff. So I'll just keep it small just to be on the safe side. Um, I got my septum pierced when I was in the army. I wanted to be a little non-conformative as much as I could be a little rebel while I was in the military. And so that's when I pierced my septum was when I was stationed in Hawaii. So that's kind of what that reminds me of. And I kind of always liked it because I didn't know a lot of people with their septum pierce. Or actually, I didn't know anybody at the time that I got my nose, my septum pierce. And so that was cool. I was like, yeah, I'm doing something that none of my friends got going on. So that was really cool. And then after I got my septum pierce, two of my friends actually pierced their septum because they liked the way mine looked. So I was like, fuck. Um, but it's all good. It happens. Um, when I was in college, my freshman year, I pierced my, I think it was my right side. Um, and it was just, I was like, I want to get something pierced. What can I do? I'll get my lip pierced. Fuck it. Um, that was kind of how it came about and then I actually liked it. And then, um, I wanted to see what I would look like with a snake bite. So I used to wear a ring over here, um, to see what I would look like. And I liked that look on me. And so after I got out of the military, I redid my lip piercing here and, um, and then got this side done. And then my left side ended up closing up. Um, cause I had, I was still in the reserves when I actually initially got it done. And so I had to have this side re-pierced or is it my right side? One of the sides. So I had to have one side re-pierced, um, because it just kept closing up. It kept like, it closed from the inside out rather than the outside in. So I couldn't push a ring through it one day, unfortunately. So that's how that came about. Um, overall I have piercings just because, um, I kind of want to. They're different. Makes me stand out as a person amongst a lot of other people that I hang out with. It kind of brings me on the, the edgy side of all my friends. Um, Tattoo-wise, I got 13 tattoos. I'll start here with my left arm. So here I have um, this kanji here. This is actually done first besides the entire piece. Um, it means Chinese. It means ambition in Chinese. Um, Capricorns are very ambitious, so I wanted this arm to be about my zodiac sign. So there's that. And then I have a Capricorn here, all the way the tail starts, comes down around, and then this is supposed to be like kind of like a sunrise, sunset kind of effect coloring. Um, a lot of my tattoos are done by a local artist. Her name is Heidi. Um, in the air, in the city that I live in, unfortunately, she doesn't do tattoos, but she freehanded all this detail in the face and in the little beard and then the hooves. So that's all freehanded. Um, let's see. My first tattoo I got was this one. I was 19. I got this when I was 20. I got this just a couple of years ago. So that would put me at 28, 29 
when I got that done. Um, this was my first tattoo. It was in, it was for my dad. My dad died when I was um, in high school, and so I got this as my first tattoo as a tribute to him. And it's just a scroll with my last name in it. Um, my brother and I have the same crest tattoos. Um, so the fish on the bottom, I need to have it redone, so sorry. So the fish are, the fish here are on this bottom side are my, is my mom's family crest. And then the eagle here is our dad's family crest. So we're representing the families heritage here. Um, let's see. I have a say, I have a phrase from a song on here. It says fear is the enemy. Um, I got this when I got back from Iraq. It was a, a phrase from a, a line from a song that I really liked, um, that I listened to when I was in Iraq and it really spoke to overcoming fear, um, of any type. I thought that it could be applied to anything at the time. I was trying to overcome like, you know, the fear of the unknown of possibly dying and never coming back from Iraq. So that was that. Um, I have my wrist done. They're the Eye of Ra or the Eye of Horus, um, who, depending on who you talk to. Um, it means health and protection. I got that when I was on R&R &R from Iraq. And I got that with my brother when he got his very first tattoo done. Um, as you can see, I have the insides of my arms done. Um, I'm super big into punk rock music. Um, and this kind of symbolizes that when I was getting out of high school and I got really big into the scene. So that was the cool thing to do. Um, and then that part I never had redone just because I, it gives it character. So that's why I never redid it once it came, once the ink unfortunately came out. Um, this kind of was like in tribute to my punk rock and sports, um, dedication. I was always number seven whenever I played sports. And so... Rather than writing Lucky 7, I did a four-leaf clover and then dice that add up to 7. Um, I have my shin done here that is a carnation that's rainbowed. I got that with my best friend and his boyfriend at the time. He wanted to get best friend tattoos, and this was his idea of it. We... Mine's a little bit similar. Like, mine's a little bit different, like the splotches and the leaves around it. Um, is just on mine, and we all have them in different spots, but we all have the same rainbow flower. Mine was just in the middle of my shin, and it looked really fucking stupid with just that. And then I have my Lady Gaga phrase said, born this way. Um, I, re I really like Lady Gaga. I know there's mixed reviews on her, but I really like her music, and I felt that, you know, with everyone always saying that, like, your gender and your sexuality, your gender identity and your sexuality, they're all based on biology. And, you know, some people think it's a choice and some people think, and some people, are, you know, say that they're born this way. Well, I am a firm believer that, um, you know, for the most part, we are born the way that we are and how things just kind of happen. And so I believe that I was born trans, I believe. Um, so I believe in that you're just born the way that you are and, you know, there's influences from society, but there's just parts of you that are just part of who you are. And then last but not least, I got my calves done. Um, this calf says disobey and then this calf says obey. And that was like one of the other tattoos I got. Um, I got them when I got back from my rat, when I got back to Idaho from getting out of the army. I was 26. Um, I was 19, 20, 21, 25, 25 or 26, um, 27, I want to say, 27, 28. I can't remember. Um, and then I got the family crest was just a couple of years ago as well. So about 28, 29, something like that. So that kind of gives a time frame, and so those are about my tattoos, and that is the story behind all of them. They all mean something to me. Um, I can't justify putting a tattoo that doesn't actually mean something to me on my body. Some people do that, um, which is completely fine to each their own. Do what you want with your body, um, but mine just represent different parts of who I am and what I believe, and that's that. So I will see you guys next week. Sorry for such a long video. Peace.